I want to tell you guys seven things or maybe ten things you can do that will help you to stop coming to the hospital. Mm. Yes, my advice today is to help you so that you will not come to the hospital again. Yes, your coming to the hospital is not making life easy for me as a doctor. In fact, most of the time when you are coming to the hospital repeatedly, any good doctor well, of course, himself is like, ah, oh, madam, what's happening, sir? Why are you coming again? But inside, I'm like, what is it now? What is now? That's how we feel inside. But outside, we start and look as if we are caring. So now, back to those seven things. And listen, listen. See how, see my face. See how tired I look, okay? We are not even getting enough time to enjoy our own lives. Not talk of spending money. You understand? So your money is not what we are after. It's your health we are after. When everybody is healthy, we all of us can now make money and we can enjoy life. Doctor too can go on vacation. I can go and see my wife. She gets. Mm -hmm. Now, step one, I've been telling you since, exercise, 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 hmm? 30 minutes once in one, one day in two, that is 30 minutes, three days in a week, do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh -huh. and then after Friday, do Sunday again, just do it like that, it helps, whether you are jogging on a spot, you are squatting, you are doing push-up, you are doing pull-up, or you are lifting with, just, or you are skipping, just do one kind of exercise or the other, and sweat 30 minutes, three times a week like that and go and rest that's one step two drink enough water i cannot overemphasize it all the body's metabolic processes need water and so take at least two to three liters of water in a day okay number three avoid artificial food anything that is created in with the machine avoid it avoid all sugary drinks all soda every kind of soda have every kind of soft drink avoid them Okay, five, avoid alcohol. That stuff gives you this kind of very, very terrible health. Okay, avoid it. Okay, avoid smoking anything, whether it's shisha, marijuana, cigarettes, avoid it. Don't take it at all. Okay, do not take part in illicit and dangerous sexual activity. If you're not sure of the sexual health of somebody, don't go and start sleeping with that person and spreading disease around. Hmm? Okay, one other thing, please ensure that you take fresh vegetables every day. At least one meal of the day should inc include vegetables. Either you take it with swallow or you take salad once a day. Take fruits, one fruit a day, whether it's one banana, a slice of pineapple, a slice of watermelon, any of your favorite fruits, just one fruit a day, take it. Now, there are some super foods that have been shown to have good effects on the health. Things like moringa, both the leaf and the seed. Uh, things like uh, scent leaf. And people have even talked about uh, lime. Lime especially has been studied. That, that has very, very, very good health effects. It helps you to boost your immune system, gives you vitamin C and a lot of other minerals too. And it can actually help you to boost the whole of your system. Please take all those things. Mm -hmm. And then if you have any particular condition that you are seeing a doctor for, whether it's hypertension, diabetes, or something like that, please go regularly. It is easier to continue treating hypertension than to be on admission for stroke. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, if it is asthma, anything that you know that you need to see a doctor regularly for, don't wait for the doctor to call you. Go for your appointment. There are more than this, but if you start with all these things, the number of times you'll be going to the hospital will be less. If you are pregnant, go for your antenatal clinic. Do your ultrasound scan when you're supposed to be doing it. So, you are at the end of the day, you only see the doctor when it is necessary. And the few doctors left in Nigeria will not look as if they are going to die tomorrow. We too will be able to have time to spend the little money we have and enjoy our life. Stress kills you and it is killing doctors too. So, help your doctor today and take these points I've given as advice and start using them to guide how you live your life. Ireo.